Blessings, saints, and friends. I am Dr. Michael Andrew Owens, pastor of the New Hope Missionary Baptist Church of San Bernardino, California. And I'm coming to you from our New Hope Church facility to give you an update on our readiness for worship in person back at the church house. Uh, we have drafted a letter to our New Hope Church family and I want to share it with you so that you can be uh, cognizant of the experience that we are preparing for you to have and the precautions that we have taken for your health and safety as you do so. The letter that you will receive says, Welcome. Praises be to God who has kept us by his grace. On Sunday, June 7th, New Hope Missionary Baptist Church will be open for in-person worship. Preparations have been made to receive parishioners in keeping with the best health practices that have been mandated for large religious gatherings. The service is scheduled to start at 9 a.m. for one hour in duration. It will be live streamed to our church website, www.newhopembc.org. It will be on Facebook Live. It will be posted on our YouTube channel and you are invited to continue to join us for our online services. You can join us in worship from home. If you're not quite ready to return to the building, if you have any sign of illness, COVID-19 or related issues, it would be best for you to enjoy the worship service online. The following is information that is essential for you to have a good experience in your return to the church campus this Sunday. Number one, be patient and follow directions. This is a trial run with many processes going on for the first time in the manner that we must conduct ourselves for the health and safety of everyone in attendance. The setup for services will be in this manner. In the sanctuary, we will accommodate 100 persons who will be allowed to have seating uh, for worship in that space. In the main entry parking lot, we will accommodate 30 cars for drive up in designated parking slots. There will be uh, 100 chairs set up for audio only with speakers outside. So outside, you can drive up and enjoy the worship in your car or you can take one of the seats that have been provided to listen to the service. This is the timeline. Service is scheduled at 9 a.m. for in-person and live stream worship. Doors open at 8 a.m. and that is when our entry processing begins. The main entry is in front of the church. Everyone except staff and support teams on duty for the day must enter at the main entry. Required for entry, temperature checks and questions regarding COVID-19 exposure will be asked by our health ministry team of all persons entering the building. Masks must be worn for entry into the building, for worship in the sanctuary, for interacting with others inside the building or on the grounds unless a person is worshiping in their vehicle, a mask will be required. Seating, physical distance will be observed while waiting to be directed by the ushers to seating in the sanctuary. Pews will be marked to indicate the distance that parishioners are to abide by for seating. Spouses and persons in the same household may sit together if distancing from others in front behind or on either side of them can still be observed. Except for a few reserved places, seating will be first come, first served, and spaces will be filled from the front to the rear of the church at the usher's discretion. Exiting after service will be guided as there are designated exits for parishioners leaving the sanctuary after worship has been conducted. Note also, this coming Sunday is the first Sunday of the month, and on first Sundays we celebrate the Lord's Supper. 
So you will receive your communion elements upon your arrival. You will already have them when the pastor indicates that it is time to celebrate the Lord's Supper. Please take the baggie and the remains of your elements with you as you leave. Do not litter the church or the grounds. Finally, speak the truth in love. We would like to hear about your experience so that we can improve and make it a better experience. So please be helpful and constructive with your comments. We are pleased that we've come this far in making preparations to receive you. We invite you to join us in person. We invite you to share with us online. But most of all, stay in prayer, stay grounded in the word, and keep on walking in your communion with the Lord Jesus. God bless you, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.